Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We're seeing gold trading around 1635, 1645 this morning. We think that's a great opportunity moment uh, to take a look and observe what's happening. What's happening is the European situation is getting much worse. The fact is that the European banks are exposed to Spain, Portugal, Ireland, and Italy seven times more than their exposure to Greece, seven times more than their exposure to Greece. So simply recapitalizing, or simply addressing the Greek issue uh, is not going to solve the, t the problem by any means. And as I indicated in my longish commentary yesterday, one of the reasons America is a superior place to be is that uh, there is there there that people who are far from the expertise point are critical decision makers. In other words, if a provincial uh, parliament in Germany decides they don't like something, they can influence in a big way German state policy, German uh, national policy. That doesn't happen in the United States. Um, and so we have, in our own way, a simpler system than they do in Europe. So the European resolution is not going to be upon us anytime soon. Um, secondly, we want to point out something we received from very smart fellows at Lark Research, uh, that you know, Elliott Wave Theory uh, would suggest that the S&P ought to be at 900 right now. Um, and what that means is that uh, there should be a 50%, in order for a correction to have taken place, which people keep talking about, 1080, 1100, 1120, 1150 being corrections. A correction from the previous high would be about a 300 point drop. Uh, and that's pretty solid Elliott Wave Theory, if you're a follower of Elliott Wave Theory. Um, but we think that it's going to be very, very difficult for uh, the U.S. stock market to trend upward until some kind of plan to get people employed is in place. Uh, a last comment, which I've been trying to express. The apparent decline in the unemployment rate is a function of people who have been unemployed for a certain period of time are no longer counted as being unemployed. Um, and, and, and if you haven't been able to get an interview in a month or two, you're not counted anymore as seeking work. Now, you and I know that just because you're out there swinging, trying to get interviews, and you can't get any, that doesn't mean you're not unemployed. But that's what the government statistics say. So we still in the United States have the highest ratio of unemployed people to the total population that we've ever had, or we've had in 28 years. So the depth of our issues is not going to be resolved until the situation in Washington moves forward on the employment front. And we ask all the true believers out there to keep in mind that if we continue to cut government spending and we continue to uh, uh, not get people back to work, the so-called American consumer that's supposed to save everybody is never going to go back. You're never going to come back to spending. Last, we have no sources of external demand. The Chinese are stumbling. The Europeans we discuss all the time. The other economies in the world are simply not large enough to make an impact. So what we see is the U.S. economy is going to be in a different place, even while giant companies seem to make a lot of money. They do because they're not doing anything. Our commentary the other day pointed out that they're barely replacing material, excuse me, capital equipment. And they make more money by... Uh, doing mergers and acquisitions and by uh, managing their cash flow than they do by hiring another 50,000 employees. And that's the simple fact of the economics in through here. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. And have a great day. Keep swinging.